हेलो एवरीवन टुडे माय टॉपिक इज लाउड स्पीकर लाउड स्पीकर इज ए ट्रांसड्यूसर हुई कॉन्वर्ट इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल ऑफ ऑडियो फ्रीक्वेंसी इनटू द साउंड डेप ऑफ द सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इज डिफरेंट ऑफ माइक्रोफोन इट इज द आउटपुट डिवाइस वेर एस माइक्रोफोन इज द इनपुट डिवाइस लाउड स्पीकर हैव सम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दे आर इट शुड हैव हाई सेंसिटिविटी इट हैज हाई सिग्नल टू नॉइज रेशियो इट हैज लो डिस्टोर्शन इट हैज प्रॉपर इम्पिडेंस मैचिंग एंड इट शुड हैव आइडियल फ्रीक्वेंसी रेस्पॉन्स दिस इज द मूविंग कॉल लाउड स्पीकर वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट मूविंग कॉल लाउड स्पीकर and this is the structural block diagram of moving coil loudspeaker now we are going to discuss about the working principle of moving coil loudspeaker a voice coil is placed in a uniform magnetic field when audio current passes through the voice coil there is an interaction between the magnetic field and the current the resulting in a force working on this movable coil force on the coil due to the interaction between the current through the coil and the magnetic field is given by f is equal to bli sin alpha where f is the force of force and b is the flux density l is the length of the coil i is the current in ampere and alpha is the angle between the coil and the field generally we consider alpha is equal to 90 degree so f is equal to bli now we consider the construction of the moving coil loudspeaker the main part of this loudspeaker are magnet voice coil conical diaphragm this uses a permanent magnet leaving central south pole peripheral north pole to give strong magnetic field the magnet is made of spherical type of magnetic material where aluminum is equal to 10% nickel is equal to 18% cobalt is equal to 12% copper is equal to 6% and ferrous is equal to 54% The frequency response of moving coil loudspeaker is flat. The frequency response range is 200 to 5000 hertz. It has some advantages. The advantages are they are very small and very cheap. The main disadvantages are it has poor efficiency and it has very low frequency. The main application of this loudspeaker are it is used as radio receiver, TV receiver and all other audio equipment. now we are discussing about buffels buffels is the technique to recover the low frequency of sound sound wave in back are out of the phase 180 degree with respect to the sound wave front if these two sound wave meet together then this will cancel each other and causing intensity of sound drop this is more pronounced at low frequency so to save the low frequency from attenuation it is necessary to increase the path difference using a physical barrier This is known as the buffels. There are two kind of buffels: finite buffels and infinite buffels. Finite buffels causes some loss audio frequency signal due to the diffraction, and in infinite buffels, it has infinite lateral dimension. Now we are going to discuss about the enclosure. Enclosure is nothing but the loudspeaker which is mounted in a closed box with an opening in the front. the box serves the purpose of the finite buffel because the wave from the back of the cone will not be able to come to the front side the solid timber is not good to make the enclosure the box must be airtight the hole for loudspeaker cone should be cut accurately the enclosure has the three characteristics one is the woofer one is the squeaker and one is the tweeter the frequency range of the woofer woofer is 16 hertz to 5 500 hertz and the squeaker is 500 hertz to 5000 hertz and the tweeter is more than 5000 hertz thank you everyone to watch this video if you have any query then free to contact